will not believe the audacity that I have to pose this question. Are the Edifier W830BTs really Bose contenders? Yes, yes, and absolutely yes. What's up, this is Joan McCullough here and I give brutally honest reviews on this channel. So if I like it, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it too. Before we get started, I need to give two huge shout outs to Travis McPee and El Jefe Reviews. Thank you so much for taking a sister under your wing. Your advice and your encouragement has been really helpful. I'm forever grateful. So if you like what you see here, go and check out some of my other videos. And if you like those too, consider subscribing. Now, these Bose QC35s, first generation, are my everyday riders. I love them. When I found out the second generation only upgraded the voice assistant, I stayed put. I would sleep in these if I could. So when I review headphones and earbuds, this is the standard. And then came these. Let's take a look at the unboxing. Edifiers retail at $69.95 on Amazon. Go check them out. The link is in the description. And I want to give a disclaimer. I am not being paid to give this review. I bought these headphones with my own money. However, if you do decide to purchase, I will get a small commission. The ear pads are very soft and plush. This is a very tough plastic. Very tough plastic. They're well built. They're heavy. They're sturdy. tight fit they're not coming off you've got your standard buttons on the bottom you've got your volume controls your power button your Bluetooth pairing button you've got a DC in to charge them USB-C again I don't mind and a 3.5 millimeter jack so let's see how they sound Okay, these are plenty loud. They satisfy my need for noise. Oh my goodness. The clarity. If I could just go in and just tweak just a little bit and make them just a little bit brighter in the mids and the highs, that would be great. But overall, I'm still very impressed. My hair back, right? Sound signature. It's a V sound signature. So they're great for pop, R&B, rock and EDM. Then they're not gonna rumble. There is absolutely no haptic bass, but the bass is there and it's strong. The sound stage is good. I listened to some of my favorite songs where I know the instrument should be coming from. It was there, it was satisfying. Again, I'm very pleased. There is a little elevated noise floor. When the songs are supposed to be quiet, you can still hear some white noise, but at this price point, I'm satisfied. So how do they compare to the Bose QC35s? They're tighter. They are tighter and they are heavier and the ear cups are warmer. When I put on my Bose QC35s, I feel like I put on little cooling packets. These do get warm, but again, it's nothing that I can't live with. They're not as crisp and clear as the Bose, but the Bose at the time that I purchased them retailed at $349. The second generation right now is on sale on Amazon for $299. We're waiting for the 700s to come, so they've dropped the price. 
for $69.95. I'm thoroughly impressed. I can live with it. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and check out some of my other videos for more brutally honest reviews. It's been real. Peace.